The trail's looking a little rocky this morning. This is going to be a tough one. Tough morning. Papa John, day 73. I was just kidding about the about the trail being rocky. The trail itself actually isn't, isn't that bad. It'd be bad if it looked like those rocks. But good, good night last night at Black Rock Hut. Um, probably looking at doing about 21 to 22 today. I'm in the National Park, so there are a couple of stores along the way, and I think there's one about five miles out, and I'll go buy some Gatorade and stuff. There's just uh, not quite as many water sources through this park as there has been in, the, in other parts of the trail. So, liquid, Gatorade, water, Powerade, whatever. That's what you crave out here. Because it is warming up. It'll probably, probably be about 85 today. But, hey, at least I'm not freezing. Oh, look at the track today, man. Isn't this nice? I could do, I could do 25 if it stayed like this. Maybe 30. 30 would be hard. But I like hiking in the morning. It's cool out. Sun doesn't beat down on you. It's just really good. I ran into, uh, I was hiking a little bit with some guys that come out once a year and they hike for two or three weeks. I think uh, the guy's name's Toe. He grew up in Daytona. And the, they were gonna do 14 or 15 and I talked to him for a while and he decided to do 20 like I was doing. And they were, they were exhausted at the end. And sometimes I think doing two or three weeks a year until you finish the trail is actually harder than just coming out and doing the whole thing because you never really are, you never really lose all the weight and are in really good condition from hiking because you haven't done it enough weeks. But they're having fun. They'll eventually, they said they may have to pick up the pace and do three or four weeks because the two or three weeks isn't gonna get it. They're gonna be too old by the time they finish. But it's good to see guys coming out like that and having fun. Look at this nice amphitheater. Look at that view. Good good place to take a break. And I was thinking this would be a great place for a lip bone concert too. I'm really not all that thirsty right now, but in the Shenandoahs, man, I don't know. Uh, every time I see water, I, I fill up, I camel up because you might have to go seven or eight or ten miles without water, so play it safe and get your water. Okay, today we're doing the big camel up. I just drank as much water as I can possibly drink. It's probably about two quarts. And I got a three liter three liter platypus bladder over there. It's got about two liters in it of water in it right now. I'll drink that as I'm walking along, which is nice. And then my other liter of water. Generally, you don't want to carry too much water because a liter of water weighs, weighs a kilo. That's 2.2 pounds. You know, you carry three liters of water and you're carrying 6.6 .6 pounds to your pack. And you want to stay as lightweight as possible out here, but there's fewer and fewer water sources. And when I find a good water source, you know, I'll take three liters, 6.6, .6, and I'll drink a liter. So I may have weighed myself down by eight, eight and a half pounds. But, you don't want to be caught without enough water, and I got about 10 more miles to go. There are probably water sources, but some of them are a quarter mile off the trail. I just don't want to have to walk and go find water. I'd rather take the water when I'm right on the trail. It takes me about 20 minutes to load everything up, but this should, this should be enough to get me to my shelter, and there's a water source there, so... I'm going to stay hydrated. Okay, so I'm loaded down with water and I got my mm, water source right there. So bring on the 85 degree weather and bring on the hills. I'm right at the 900 mile mark. So 
only 11 or 1200 more miles to go but this is as good a time as any to think back on the trail towns that I visited and which ones I like the most and I'd have to say best trail towns got to be Damascus that's just what I've seen so far they got three outfitters they got restaurants there's a river that runs right through it several hostels I mean it's very hiker friendly they got a brewery and they got a town next door Abingdon I think and with a nice winery it's just uh, it's a nice place to take a zero nice day to go a nice place to go visit uh, number two for me would have to be hot springs and that's mainly because it was the first trail town that I really hit and I really liked it the restaurants were good again lots of hostels and the trail went right through town just like it does in Damascus and that I thought that was pretty cool and number three I guess I'd have to say Waynesboro it's kind of big for a trail town but it's got everything you need and maybe the recency thing here is kicking in but I did like I did like Waynesboro and that's my top three and I guess when I finish those top three might be somewhere else maybe there's better trail towns that I like more up ahead but Damascus is pretty good hot springs Waynesboro okay what is it Friday the third getting near the end of the day uh, 20 plus miles it's still kind of early it's still like 4 15 or 4 30 so I'm gonna stop in on this shelter and get some water maybe eat dinner and probably stay there but it's possible I could go a little bit further Mexico. From my ship I spot a dusty town below The people of the town that gathered round the stair As my ship touched down in the central square I walked into a bar with an old guitar Ordered a tequila and a big cigar In a mystical moment, groove took over the room Just then the preacher's wife walked in and said Turn up the volume Is a 